I want to build a survival shelter where I can sleep tonight. I'm going to be bone dry. Oof. But at the same time, we have absolutely no food. A little bit of breakfast there. It's like a starving dog. Absolutely no water. Oh! It's going to be interesting, so let's get into it. All right, here we go. What is going on, my doggies? Welcome back to another video. Here, I'm just going to interrupt this video very, very quickly to give you guys a little bit of an update on what is going on right now. I'm on the other side of the world. Currently, I'm in the UK. Out that window right there, it is three degrees. It's freezing outside, mate. I've got a lady in the hallway walking around with a vacuum cleaner like there's no tomorrow. There's a bloke out the window there with a whippersnipper and a lawnmower. They're all going to ham, so um, if you guys can hear some background noise, that's what's going on. But look, yesterday I went in for my treatment. I got stem cells injected into my ankle. Now this stem cells, not a lot of people have heard about stem cells, including me. It was new to me. Someone said to me, go try stem cells before you try getting surgery on your foot. So that's what I've done. Basically, what happens is they drill a hole in your hip. They drill a hole all the way through your hip, through your bone. They take out the rich plasma. They take out the bone marrow. Then they, I don't know, they do something with it. Then they inject it into the broken ankle. So here's my broken ankle. I've got an injection in there. I've got another injection in the side there. Fingers crossed these stem cells do the job. I'll let you guys, I'll give you guys like an update on how it goes. But for now, I'm feeling good, man. Surgery was yesterday. Ankle's throbbing. Hip's pretty bloody sore, but it is what it is. I'm over here solo, actually. Mac 10's not here to look after me, so I've got to be a big boy. This is hectic, dude. I've got these, I've got these bloody things here. Look at this. Every night at six o'clock, I'm gonna jab myself with one of these syringes. Doesn't feel no good, but it is what it is. I'm over here eating healthy off the beers and I'm just sitting back trying to just rest, rest his foot. Six to eight weeks, they reckon, it's, they've got to rest up for. So you guys are gonna be seeing a fair few of these Indo videos with, with like stuff I'm trying to include that you guys have never seen before, but and there's a couple of bloopers at the end. I'm just trying to keep that Sunday upload going until the field day is back on his feet. So there's a little bit of an update. The video you're about to watch right now, super fun one. Um, this one was actually a very, very me me memorable. Blah, 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 blah. Just bloody watch it, it's gonna hit you right now. Much love, thank you so much for watching. Field day is gonna be back in full force very, very soon. Much love, doggies. <laughs> Welcome to a survival challenge. So the aim of the game is to build a survival shelter which is waterproof. 100% waterproof, somewhere where I can sleep tonight and stay completely dry because we've had a lot and a lot of rain and it has been well it's been raining for two weeks straight and um, it got me thinking usually on a survival challenge you want to find drinking water that's your main thing but because it's raining so much drinking water isn't a problem the next thing i think is going to be staying dry so i want to build a survival shelter where i can sleep tonight i'm going to be bone dry but at the same time we have absolutely no food absolutely no water so we're a new little bit of a deserted beach here and we'll see what we can do. I've got no idea really what I'm doing, but we'll see what we can um, we we'll see what we can whip up and see if we can find a bit of food, a bit of water, and um, I don't know, it's just gonna be a hell of a time, I know that much. Ah. There's so much different fruit and stuff washed up on this beach. I've got no idea what this is. It's like a cucumber, some form of a yeah, maybe it's like a cucumber or something, but man, there's so much different fruits and foods washed up on this beach. So I'll just show you guys what we got before we get into it because we haven't got much. So I've just brought the bigger knife. We've got this knife. This is for um, obviously cutting your bamboo, making the shelter. And I've got a smaller knife, which probably won't, we won't use too much, but just this knife, just to, it'll come in handy. So there's two knives and what else? The last thing I've got, that's it, there's nothing else in there. The last thing I've got is a little bit of zinc because mate, I've been getting absolutely roasted out here. So I reckon what we're gonna do is, because I, I literally haven't drank anything really today. So I'm gonna go for a search, see if we can find coconuts. That's the easiest thing to do is look for coconuts. But while I'm looking for coconuts, we'll be picking up materials. We'll be picking up sticks, fishing line, rope, whatever we can find to start building this hut because I can see over here and over here there's two little nuggets of rain one here 
and there's a little one out there but um they come across real fast they're just continually coming across and i want to sort of set all of this up before it rains because when it rains hit proper proper rains all right so we'll just walk for as far as we can just scavenging anything we can find that's going to come in handy rope fishing line string all that kind of good stuff bamboo sticks so it's a big walk let's just start hunting because um i'm sure that rain's going to come sooner or later that wind's picking up and uh woo, it's going to be interesting so let's get into it How good is this coastline? Just these big rocks that are literally just, they go for so long down this coast. Very clean, no rubbish, it's beautiful to see. So that's fresh water right there, running down that rock. I don't know if that happens all the time or if that's just because it's been raining, but right there, that's a water source. We've only been walking for about 15 minutes, so, um, it's not too far from where I'm going to set up the camp tonight that we have fresh water dripping off that rock, which is a great thing. All right, we've been walking for a fair while and um, to be honest, there isn't a lot of material that's going to help us out today. There's a little bit of rubbish, but I mean, it's nowhere near as thick as it was back that way. So what I might do, I might just turn around, we'll start hoofing it back there and um, Maybe we'll just start using the materials where we were before because right now we're struggling to find anything. So I've just been for a massive walk down the coast that way and it is um, surprisingly beautifully clean. There is not a lot of rubbish on the beach. There's not a lot of sticks and stuff washed up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna purely focus my attention on this area just here. Look at this. I'm gonna call this the graveyard. There is so much material in here to build a shelter with, it's not funny. Straight off the bat, I can see a whole lot of coconuts. They're probably not um, good for drinking. They're really old, but if we start digging through this rubbish, surely we're gonna find something good. So uh, let's dig in. Let's go treasure hunting. Uh, I'm definitely not gonna be walking all over this without a pair of shoes on. And um, to find a pair of thongs right now, it's definitely not gonna be an issue. One. We've got two, we've got this big buffer here. Again, there are so many thongs washed up, broken. Look at this, man. Another one, broken. Look at this, another one, broken. I think those two over there might be good. Let's try them on. Do you call these things thongs or flip-flops? Because if you went to Australia, and if you called that thing a flip-flop, you would get them thrown a meat pie straight at your face. In Australia, it's called a thong, so I will always call them thongs, not flip-flops. So uh, it's pretty funny though, because a lot of people commented in one of my videos saying, they're called flip-flops, they're not called thongs. So there you go, that's why I call them thongs. Anyway, let's start digging through this big mass of rubbish and we'll see what we can find. Look at this, mate. We can go anywhere now because I've got my thongs on. <laughs> Oh man, there's so much material in here. This is crazy. Oi. These are perfect. Bits of bamboo that have already been cut in half. Very nice. Oi! Oi! Oh, that's good. That's a good find. In a situation like this, where I have no food, no water, nothing, a bottle like this 
can come in handy very, very, very much. So that's a second glass bottle I found and I'm sure there'll be a lot more in here, but this thing, that could be a lifesaver. That's epic. Talking about something being a lifesaver, look what I've just found. I don't know if it's gonna be any good, but get out. Oh. <laughs> That there is a young coconut. That's a very young coconut. A little bit bashed up. I don't know if it's gonna be any good, but definitely gonna open this up. Whoa! Yes, look at this, man. No way. That is what I'm talking about right there. Oh, that's good. That's proper good. Oh. That's beautiful. Look at that. Get off. Oof. All right, this. Not that, not that, but this could come in handy. What's this stuff? Uh, not that, but this. Oh, it's got a hole in it. This could come in handy. Take that back. That's good. All right, so I've pretty much got enough material to start building our little shelter. And what I want to do I want to build it up here. So this is obviously like a really flat beach and this is the tide line. Sort of where this rubbish stops, that's the tide line there. So what I want to do, I'm going to build my shelter up here, but I want to build it on this ridge because if it rains later, which it probably will, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like a gully here. There's a gully on that side and there's another gully on this side. So this here is like a flat mound of sand. So if it does rain, this here will keep us, well, it will keep the water from coming into where I'm gonna to sleep tonight. It's gonna to go drain down on that side, drain down on that side. So we're gonna clear an area here and we'll start building this shelter. me bloody thong what I want is this tree here this is so perfect man this piece of wood that I found it's so straight it's actually like the best piece of wood and at the end of it it's got this perfect fork and that is exactly what I want so this is like a nice dead straight piece of wood so I'm just gonna cut it here and um, I want to take this back to camp because that is perfect, man. Yes! 
This is gonna be a good piece of wood. I need to go find myself another thong, doggies. My pink thong broke. Ah. Okay, so these two pieces of wood, pretty much identical, beautiful and straight. These are gonna be the main pieces of wood that are gonna be the structure for our waterproof shelter. Yeah, boy. All right, let's get this thing started for real. One goes there, one goes there. All right, before we start building this shelter, I found this bin bag. It was washed up here in this little creek over here. So I want it, it's got a couple of holes in it. There's a big rip down the side. There's a hole there. There's a big rip down this side. There's a couple other holes, but what I want to do, I want to make something out of this before I start building the shelter because um, this is what it's all about. It's about keeping dry. So I want to turn this thing into a raincoat, a poncho. I don't really know yet, but I've got to fix a couple of holes in it first. All right, where is it? There's a bit of material here that I saw before. Here, 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 here. Look at this thing. I don't even really know what that is. It looks like a dog bone. Obviously someone's used it for like a spear fishing float or a float for some kind of fishing, but it has this really good fishing line. Look at that, it's like 250 pound, 200, that's probably more. But that there probably is what I'm gonna to use to sew my raincoat together. And this, I don't know. I'll keep searching, but that's a bloody good option. Okay, so originally I was going to take the line off of that float because it's actually a really good line. It's really thick, heavy duty stuff, but that's just going to take forever. They've properly bound every single knot together, whoever made that. So that's going to take way too long. So that string that I found before, this piece of rope, it has hundreds and hundreds of, I don't know if you guys can even see this, but these smaller strands here. So I'm just going to take five minutes out of my day, take a little bit of time to unwind these little strands, and I'm going to use them to sew this raincoat up, because there's a couple of big rips in this. But if it rains, I'm going to be so happy that I did it. So making a full-on pin. All right, I'm getting fully into my sew mode, but this is the rope that we got out of that string. It's actually pretty good. So that stuff there, we're gonna start sewing our raincoat together with. I actually, I really hope that it rains because like that sun's just come out now, but there's massive black clouds behind me there. Sort of nice and blue over here. I want it to rain. I want it to really, really piss down. So uh, right, I'll show you what I'm doing. I've just made this little pin because obviously you can't sew the bin bag. So I'm just gonna wrap this fishing line or that line around this pin. And then I put a split in the end where it's gonna cut back in like this. So that's what I'm gonna be sewing the raincoat with. And then you've obviously got all of this. I just doubled that line up so it's stronger. So let's start making a raincoat. Look at this, that's working out hell good. I pretty much sewed half of this bin bag up. All right, so I've got to do about four more holes. So this is going to take a while, but it could be worth it. All right, we're nearly done. This is the last hole. And the raincoat is complete. See if it works anyway. It's just a bin bag which we've turned into a raincoat or a poncho or I don't know, well you can call it what you want. There's a dog over here, he's just cruising around. Does not look healthy at all. Poor little fella. Maybe if we get something to eat later on we'll share it with him because he does not look healthy. Look at him. It's like a starving dog. It's skinny, it's got no hair. Yeah, Rex! Yeah, doggy, come here. 
No. Nah, he doesn't look well. Right. That is the last touches on the raincoat. Let's see if it fits. Let's see if it even works. Tell you what, mate, if it rains, I'm gonna be bone dry. Look at these sleeves, it actually worked out really good. It's worked out perfect. So, this was like a big, this was originally already a hole, so I just thought I'd make it like a make, make like a neck piece and then I just sewed that up. But, um, a couple of holes in the back there and then a big slice down the side here. But apart from that, man, look at a raincoat, and if it really pisses down with rain. Because it's so long, I can probably cut it like here and then I'll make myself like a rain hat. <laughs> yeah, I love doing this shit, eh? All right, raincoat is sorted. Let's start building the shelter because, well, right now it doesn't look like rain's coming, but fingers crossed it pisses down with rain. <laughs> How good is that, mate? We've got a bin bag now turned to raincoat. That is, that's sensational. I hope it rains, I really do. Righto, it's time to start building our hotel. Hotel, motel, villa, call it what you will. This thing should be good. This is random, random basket. That'll come in handy for something for sure. But um, yep, I'm gonna start building this hotel now. So we're gonna get dirty, it's gonna get hot and sweaty, but it's gonna be worth it. So this is pretty much how we're looking right now. So I'm only purely cutting that bamboo in half because it just saves half of the time. Imagine having to go get all of them in round pieces. So you're pretty much just saving half the time by doing that. But this is pretty much our little pad for tonight. It's actually probably bigger than it looks on the camera, but there's a whole lot of room in here. I can easily lay across there without my head coming or my feet coming out. If I've got time, I'll make it corners for the ends, corners for the ends, but this is how we're looking. This is our little gazebo. So now I'm just gonna go and tie all of these off. So I'll tie each one of these down so they don't go anywhere. This, these are sturdy as, like the two legs, two support beams are real sturdy. So I'm just gonna go tie these down, all of these down, that's gonna take some time. And then um, we'll start putting some sort of a fascia on here. I have no idea what I'm gonna use yet, but um, I can see down this little creek here, there's banana, there's like an old busted up banana tree and there's a bit of rubbish that we can use. So hopefully we can get this shelter waterproof before tonight. So um, I can't believe it hasn't rained yet. It's been raining for like two weeks straight and then I come and do this and it stops raining. But um, I have faith. I have faith in the white rain. I really want it to rain. Come on.
So I'm on my way down there to get those bloody banana leaves and then I seen this and this bit of stuff here looks perfect. I don't know how bad it is but we're going to go down have a bit of an investigate because it could be really good for the roof. Look at it. Oh yeah, look at this thing. That's good. Probably just about to sleep on that actually. It's perfect. Banana trees down there. And I'm getting super bloody thirsty. <sighs> and I've got bugs in my mouth, but that's coconuts up there. That tree has coconuts on it. I wonder if I can get one of them down. Super thirsty right now. I'm gonna go see if I can scavenge up some of these leaves for the roof. If not, we'll use, this is actually quite a good plan to use, but the banana leaves are a lot wider, so it's gonna cover a lot more surface area. See what we can do. All right, I'm going in. I need all hands on deck for this job because this mud, I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing right now, but I'm seriously sinking like just under my knee deep in this mud. So I don't know what's in here and I've got no shoes on again. That is not fun. But we've got a couple, we've got a couple of banana leaves. They're not good. There's like an old broken banana tree around the back there, which is obviously when this river fills, flows with water, the sides are caving in. And it looks like a banana tree is sort of fallen in with it. So we've got a couple of leaves here. I can go back and get a lot more, but they're not big leaves. They're all sort of ripped up into pieces, which sucks. But right now, I don't know. We can just do what we can do. That's all we can do. So. I'll just keep searching around for materials now. Alright, so so far what we've got is this big sheet of disgusting whatever that is, but that's going to be fully waterproof, so that's, that's really good. That'll go on there for sure. And then we've got these banana leaves, but looking at the sides of this structure, we're going to need a lot more. So, I'm going to go in deep try to get heaps more of these banana leaves it just sucks because because it's stuck in the river there they've all been like ripped and shredded so these are the best ones i could find and um i'm just gonna have to go back in and try to find really good ones but it's actually quite a big area we need to cover so i think we're gonna struggle nah we'll be right i'm just gonna just gotta go hard not stop This is what I'm talking about. They all look like this. So there is a little, there are a few little banana trees up there which I could cut, but I'll try to use this dead tree because obviously we're not gonna hurt the baby trees or kill the baby trees. So I'll just keep doing runs. Oh, here we go. This is gonna be very very interesting so that's all the banana leaves i can get off that dead tree two little bits of this like uh rubbery sort of i don't know what that is floor mat stuff and then we've got our big orange sheet here so i'm going to start putting this on see if we'll start cladding it see how we go but um there's that sun that sun's sort of just over there so we don't have too much time left before it gets dark and uh once it gets dark that is it i won't be able to see a thing until the morning so I sort of nearly, I really need to start to get moving and get this shelter set, but then again, there is no rain right now, so we're sort of lucky that it's not raining, but I kind of want it to rain just so I can test out that raincoat, man. All right, let's get the roof on this. <laughs> okay, we're going to need a whole lot more material than that because right now, this thing is going to leak like a sieve and that's the whole banana tree. Every leaf off that banana tree is on that shelter, so um... We're gonna need, I am gonna need to go get a whole lot more. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna put my ass into gear. That sun's going down and our shelter is far from done. But it's hella fun. All right, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my goodness this has been <laughs> this has been an absolute mission but it's been 
super fun and I'm learning a lot as I go. So the, what's happening is I've got the banana leaves as a base then I used another sort of a leaf as a like and then a second base and grass on top. So it's, you cannot see daylight through that side. It's, I'm gonna say it's about 75% waterproof if it rains. I reckon I'll be pretty safe, but what I've ended up doing is I've pulled that, that string that we sewed the raincoat up with, I pulled that apart and I've joined them in each each piece I've joined and we've got like, I don't know, I had like literally 50, 100, 50 to 100 meters and this stuff's actually like super strong. So what I've done, I tied it off there and then I wrapped it inside and out, inside and out, inside and out, inside and out, all the way down and then halfway back up before the string snap, uh, before the string snot stopped and then, um, so that's what I'm using. I'm actually like tucking the grass. So all of these are running across there and I'm tucking the grass under them. So now a couple, couple more bits more grass. I can't even speak, man. My mouth is so dry. I've had one coconut all day. So that's the next mission is to get some coconuts down, but I really want to get this finished. My mouth feels like a bag of flour right now. That's sun. We've still got a little bit of time. We've still got a little bit of time to get a coconut down for dinner. Man, I'm, my mouth's so dry, you don't understand. But um, I'm just gonna finish off this grass. It's looking good, like it's super thick. It's banana leaf, that different leaf, I'm not too sure what it was. And then the um, grass on top, so we're looking good. Looking, I'm, I'm happy. I reckon I'm gonna have a good night's sleep. This is that other leaf that I used. I'm not too sure what, what it is, but that's what we used. And um, yeah, man, I'm frothing, I'm happy. This is gonna be a fun night. I just want it to rain, just rain. I wanna see if this thing's gonna get wet. Yep, thank you guys, thanks a lot. Thank you for um, informing me that I had a big, <laughs> I had a big thing of sand here. I just looked in the reflection of the GoPro and I was like, what the hell is that, man? Big sand bundy on my face, it actually doesn't come off. Look, uh, never comes off. Anyway, that doesn't bother me right now. What I need to do is get a bed, so we're gonna make like a grass. I suppose I'm just gonna put grass on the bottom of the sand just so I'm not sleeping on the damp sand, so. We'll go do that and then I'm gonna go definitely try to get one of them coconuts down because thirst factor is real right now. Yeah. This thing is gonna do the job. If you guys are new to the channel, I suck at climbing coconut trees. I can't climb them for shit and this one that I'm gonna try to get the coconut off, it's actually huge, man. It's like. This stick is a good, I don't know, 12 meters, 10 meters long, this stick that I got here. And I don't even reckon it'll reach that coconut up there. So I, need, I really need a drink, but so let's see if we can get one of these coconuts down with this massive pole. So the coconut that I'm aiming for is this bad boy here, but there's plenty on there. There's plenty on there, but they're really high, man. That's look, probably looks deceiving in the camera. So I'm gonna to try to scale up this wall. You guys are probably asking yourself, why is there a wall here? I've got no idea why there's a wall here. Obviously back in the day, there was something built here, but now it is, there's nothing. It's completely abandoned. So that's kind of strange. But anyway, those coconuts, they're high, but they're plentiful. I need to get one down so bad. All right, this stick actually reaches that coconut from here. So I'm just gonna try to bounce it from here and get it down. If we can get that one down, there's one next to it. But this one just looks juicy, man. It's sort of hanging there and it doesn't look very young. So it might be old and fall off. Who knows, let's try. This is gonna be exciting. coconut was literally not even joking right now holy shit dude that coconut was like this close to my face then 
All right, we got a coconut. This is my footprints here and here. This is where the coconut fell. That is psycho. Imagine if that hit me in the head. It's bigger than my head. That is a big coconut. All right, let's go get this thing open because I am so thirsty. All right, here we go. It's the moment of truth. Well, I'm 100% positive that this is gonna have beautiful, fresh, delicious water in it. But sometimes when you pop these open, they're a little bit of a, they do a little bit of a squirt. Way there we go. That's when you know it's fresh, mate. Oh, have a look how full this coconut is. That is full to the top. There'd be over a liter of liquid in that. That is exactly what I need right now. Thirsty as a dog. Happier than a man fishing on a jetty. And I've got sunsets like this. Mate. These survival challenges aren't so bad. Let's dig in. Here goes, doggies. Really try to make a straw. It actually works so good. Perfect, no wastage. Okay, so it's about to go dark. I've got about 15 minutes of light left. I think it should be a banging sunset, and then um, it's going to be pitch black. So I'll quickly show you guys inside the little hunt we've made i'm gonna call it 70 percent it's not waterproof at all but then again it's not raining and this whole entire thing was supposed to be setting up a house in the rain but anything could happen overnight so let's have a look inside so this is pretty much where i'm going to be sleeping for the night i'm going to use that as a pillow that's actually a perfect pillow and then um that's me for the night that'll be the bed what i was hoping to do today was like fill these corners in that corner and that corner fill them in but Man, when you're doing this kind of stuff, it just, time flies, it just goes so fast. But I'm happy with what I've done. I reckon I'll be dry tonight if it rains, so we'll see. Oh, I can't express to you how good it is, the feeling of liquid when you don't drink anything all day. It's such a good reward. Oh, have a look at this. This is actually pretty good. I've never really slept under anything like this before, like just one slope, so. It'll be interesting to see how it goes. Oh, absolutely devastated. I just thought to myself, like, I haven't eaten anything all day. I've had nothing to eat. And I just thought, I just seen this rock. I've like probably got about 10 minutes, 15 minutes of sunlight left. And I just seen this rock in the water. So I've just sprinted down here and um, I was hoping there'd be some big oysters, but look at the oysters. They're tiny, man. There's no way we're eating them. I'm just going to go hungry tonight, I suppose. Holy shit, man, I forgot about my raincoat. I just had it under a rock over there. It's been there all day. I'll chuck that in there as well. I'll actually sleep on that. That's a great idea. <laughs> Listen to this, man. Can you guys hear this? <laughs> as soon as that sun goes down, man, the bugs, they just come out to play. I haven't been bitten by one mosquito, so let's hope it stays that way because I don't want to be getting bitten by mosquitoes. The mosquitoes come out tonight, I'm just gonna rub mud all over my legs and I've got the long sleeve, yeah, doggies fishing shirt on, so that'll keep me safe, but nah, listen to the bugs right now. <laughs> I'm not too sure if you guys can see me right now, but I'm about to slide into Hotel Field and I'll, um, See you guys in the morning. Hopefully it rains so we can give this shelter a test. But um, until the morning, much love doggies. See you at sunrise. Yo! Oh, yeah. I tell you what, that was one of up there with one of the most haggard sleeps I've had in a long, long time. The mosquitoes, like the mosquitoes weren't bad, 
until the sun completely disappeared and then they just came out in force. Like if I didn't have this, if I didn't have this bin bag on my legs, mate, I reckon, I don't know what I would have done. I just would have had to bury my legs in the dirt. But apart from the mosquitoes, it wasn't too bad. Um, it rained, we got rain. I think it was like at 2.30, nearly three o'clock this morning, it came down and it rained quite a bit. So what I did last night, <clears throat> we gave the um, bin bag actually a test last night. I chucked it on as a raincoat and while it was raining, I got up and I made a water catchment system because, <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm still half asleep. Because um, I had a lot of time to think last night, man. I didn't really get too much sleep and uh, yeah, so I was just thinking that we had to make some sort of a water catchment system, so that's what we did last night. I'll show you guys that now. I haven't even seen it yet. I've literally just woken up and um, there should be a bit of water in there, but wouldn't mind a drink right now. Everything around me here is absolutely soaked. Like, that's probably fresh drinking water in that coconut there. Same as that one there that's got water in it. So that's how much it rained last night and to my surprise, I am bone dry. This shirt is not one little bit wet. So I'm gonna say that the shelter, it did its job. As the rain came in, it sort of came in on an angle and this is the exact reason why I built this shelter this way. From past experience, I know, not always, but most of the time you, you, you will always get the rain coming this way and that's the way the rain came. It sort of was coming in on an angle actually, so I just pushed my head back and into the corner there and I was um, dry. I was completely dry. Look at this, I'm still dry right now. So um, I'm going to say that the shelter was a, su a success. If we had more time, I definitely would have built those walls on the side, but I'm pretty stoked with it. Let's see if we've got some water in this catchment thing I made. <laughs> Look at this thing, man. This is what I built last night when it was absolutely pissing down with rain. I had to go cut these leaves off of that tree in there, but this is what we made last night. Oh my God, look how much water's in there. So this is that coconut that we got yesterday. That is all fresh drinking water. Have a look at that. That's nearly, it's half full. That right there is purely fresh water from the rain last night. Yeah, that basket ended up coming in handy. It's a lot of water, hey? It's actually, yeah, that's just like purely fresh drinking rainwater. There's a little bit of shit in here, but I never heard anyone. Oh, definitely wasn't the best sleep I've ever had, that's for sure. I'm gonna go, I just seen yesterday, I saw some um, little bit of bush tucker up over here, so we'll have a little bit of breakfast, I reckon. It's not the biggest breakfast in the world, but it is food and it is, um, Definitely a source of bush tucker, a little bit of nutrients for the morning. In amongst all of this weed, grass, wood, and all this crap is this beautiful goat's foot. So this is called, this flower is actually called goat's foot. So these leaves are absolutely 100% edible. And then, or should I say these flowers are 100% edible. So we'll get these bad boys. A little bit of breakfast there, and then these leaves, you can actually boil these leaves up, if I can get one off. You can actually boil these leaves up here. You gotta boil it before you can eat it, but you can eat that leaf. And then up here, there's another little bit of food. Just up here somewhere, there was a bit of food, which is, they're actually really tasty. I'm trying to find it, but, and you'd have to eat quite a few of these goat's foot flowers, but they're completely edible. They don't really taste like much, but there are heaps of them here and you could definitely, I don't know, if you were dying, if you were starving, you could eat these, there's hundreds of them here. Right now in the morning, they're just starting to open up. So they're actually quite good. But over here is a coconut somewhere. And it's not like your normal coconut. There he is there. All right, so these suckers are edible. When it's like this, this is a young coconut. Obviously, that's what a coconut looks like when it falls off a tree. That's about to turn into a big, beautiful coconut tree. 
but here in this stem is this beautiful white fleshy meat so inside there you've got a bit of a meal and then if you bust this shell open there's also food that thing there will be like a white pulpy bit of um kind of a meat you can eat that inside there but i'm not going to eat this i'm going to let this leave that there let that grow into a big strong tree but inside there there's a beautiful little bit of meat or not meat but um nice soft bit of tasty food It's actually really funny that I have never ever wanted it to rain so much in my life than I have over all day yesterday, last night, and even this morning. I was hoping I'd wake up to lots of rain, but it is what it is. When you're out here doing these kind of things in nature, nothing, nothing goes to plan. But um, I'm gonna say it was a little bit of a successful mission. We could still do a lot more work to the hut. Um, but I didn't get wet and it was raining pretty hard last night, so I'm gonna call it a successful mission. We got a little bit of water out of it as well, which was nice, but um, yeah. I'm just gonna leave the hut there. Hopefully the locals who were fishing yesterday, maybe they can use it to keep dry when it rains. Who knows, but um, that's it for me, doggies. Thank you for watching. I've got a big walk ahead of me to get out of here and uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Phew, much love. Now that's a chopping board. <laughs> but what we are going to do is stoke tea, struggle to stay dry. Whatever we can to build a waterproof, waterproof container. I mean, and I'll, uh, I guess we'll just see what materials work. And I guess we'll just see what, and I guess, so I just guess it's going to generate myself or generate myself. You want a straw? I'll give you a straw. No! Nah. Alright, let's make a straw. Let's get a little bit civilized. Oh no, don't you even think about it.